Okay, let's go home. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. It has been an entire month since I've been back at this setup and boy am I glad to be back. But as you guys know, I have spent the last 28 days or so in Japan. And today I'm here to show you everything that I have bought while I was in Japan. Japan. Now, Japan is known for a lot of things, and one thing that it is definitely known for is shopping. And we did quite the bit of shopping. If you take a look right here, you can see I have this entire <laughs> freaking desk on the side just set up with everything I bought in Japan. And I am going to show you each and every single item, as well as where I got it from, maybe the backstory to it. If you are someone who enjoys watching hauls, if you're someone who enjoys listening to stories, uh, I hope you will enjoy this video. From the creators of Tears of Themis and a few other small mobile games too, comes a brand new F2P 3D tactical RPG. Introducing Honkai Star Rail. Tour the galaxy on a magical flying train to save the universe from imminent danger. Are you sick of not being able to clear content because you're playing on a screen that's the literal size of a potato? Well, worry no more, as Honkai Star Rail features top tier tactical gameplay where your enemies will actually wait for you to attack. Experience a familiar, and I mean like really, really familiar, artistic quality that features magnificent scenes on the same audio visual level as top notch TV series. And of course, don't forget, the rich endgame content that will challenge your limits and keep you coming back for more. Starring literally a calendar date, clemency, definitely haven't seen you before, and much, much more. Honkai Star Rail is now open for pre-registration and you can join. All you have to do is go down to the link in the description and sign up today. Don't miss out on your next big adventure, Honkai Star Rail. Very first thing we will start with are these things right here. We have these in the United States as well, but in Japan, these things are super, super common. You ever heard of Gashapon? These are little prizes you can win. Yeah, we did a bunch of Gasha machines. There are actually like entire walls of these Gasha machines just set up. You can find them anywhere in Tokyo or anywhere in Japan, honestly. If we take a look here, you might recognize this one if you watch the vlog, but this one is actually... <laughs> this is my favorite Gashapon of all time. Oh my god, he's so dead. <laughs> this is Koi Man. We saw this one gacha machine that was just the series of like different Koi people. And this guy is called Koi Man. And oh my god, he is beautiful. I've never seen anything more majestic in my entire life. And once I saw it, I had to have him. So we also have this on the side. We have... <gasps> Actually, Jake got this one for me. This is Aaron Yeager. Yeah, we were at like this gotcha center and Jake just came up to me and he was like, here, take this. And I was like, what is it? And then he told me like, yeah, so they had like AOT gotcha machines. I'm gonna get Levi for you. And then they ran out of gotcha machines. They ran out of like prizes and the only thing he could get was Aaron. So we have uh, <laughs> we have a little sitting Aaron Yeager here. And then I think the third and final one is cute little Tartaglia. I think this might've been from Dawn or Slice. Someone gave this to me. Genshin is a very, very popular prize for gacha machines in Japan. And aside from like, you know, the typical ball gachas that you can do uh, to win prizes, there are also stuff like where you insert 1000 yen bills and you have a chance to like get a key out of it. And if you like actually get a key, I don't even know what the rates are, but you can like unlock the little prize boxes that they have on the side. And it could be like Nintendo switches or like luxury bags, but I'm sure the probability is very low and you're paying a thousand yen in order for a chance to get a key. But I, I did one. <laughs> I did one just feeling lucky. I mean, I'm, I'm not too disappointed. I managed to get this Mona figurine out of it. Obviously, it's not a key. And I also got this Shingcho keychain. It was fun. I was feeling lucky, but I would not recommend doing that. You are probably not going to win it and you are probably going to be throwing your money away as well. Speaking of gacha, one thing Japan is actually known for is card shops. To be honest, I was never into like trading card games, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. I collected a few cards when I was a kid, but that was mainly because all my other friends collected them and I was like, oh, 
cards. They're cool. But one thing that Japan has is it takes it to an entirely different level. Card shops are like very, very common in Japan. And it's something you will never ever see in the United States, I feel. One thing that they also have are booster boxes. Now, if you don't know how, you know, trading card games work essentially in order to collect the cards, you need to buy a booster box that contains packs. One thing that we found was uh, Pokemon. Oh my God. Pokemon is so popular in Japan and the trading cards are even more popular. Atsu, Jake and I, we, uh, we kind of, Buying nine. <laughs> kind of bought a few uh, Pokemon booster boxes. Maybe, maybe more than a few. We bought a lot of Pokemon booster boxes. Well, not me personally, but it's, it's an investment. Pack. We don't even play Pokemon. Why are we buying these? I just I'm like gonna gambling. Buy one of these. Okay. Spoils of War. Here we go. Oh, it's the it's the moon from Legends of Zelda. That's the sun. Oh, same thing. Oh! Oh, nice. I got him. I could ruin all your cards with one move. Okay. Uh -huh. After that, you know, we kind of dropped Pokemon because I'm not really that into Pokemon. However, one day while I was shopping at a convenience store, it was Lawson, by the way. I love Lawson. And I discovered another trading card game. And from that moment on, it was my goal to complete the entire set of that trading card game before I left Japan. Now, you might be asking yourself, what set is that? Allow me to introduce you to my new favorite trading card game. Sorry, Genshin. The Evangelion Battle Spirits trading cards. The funny thing about this one is most of the time you will have people like who buy out booster boxes like completely out of stock and then they'll resell them at a profit, right? They're, they're your typical resellers. The thing about these cards is that people bought them out of stock, but then no one wanted them. <laughs> when I bought a pack at Lawson, it was 330 yen. When I went around to different card shops and I like looked for booster boxes, people were literally selling them at a discount for like 200 yen, like a pack, because no one wanted to buy these boxes. <laughs> You know, that's great for me and all, but it was just a little sad to see that. And if you look here, I got an entire binder dedicated towards all of the cards I pulled. Just on this front page is like some of the rarest cards I've pulled. And actually what's funny is on the last day we were in Japan, I actually went around uh, to different trading card shops. And when I went into the trading card shop and like I asked the employee to help me get them, I heard them talking and they, I heard like, something, 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 and then Evangelion. And then I just heard laughing and I'm pretty sure they were laughing at me because <laughs> no one else wanted to buy these cards. And they were like, wow, that's crazy. I've never seen anyone else. They, they literally made fun of me for buying these cards, but it's okay. These cards are cool. And I am happy that I managed to finish an entire set of them. And I think these cards are very gorgeous to me. <laughs> so another thing that comes from Japan is you may or may not have heard of it. I think it's like this small little indie studio. They're called Studio Ghibli. Yeah, they're very, they're very indie, very undercover, but they actually do have like a memorial park uh, in Japan for... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jubilee has like this entire park that they have different attractions that they have like life-size replicas. We went to like the, uh, I think it was the house that they lived in in Totoro. A little replica of that and like a bunch of different attractions, different like models, different statues, full warehouse out of like Ghibli stuff. But what I did get from there was these two things. I got a little calendar. I thought this was super cute. I actually got this one for my mom and I got a little jigsaw puzzle. This one is the little Totoro here. I got it for my sister. Watched some of the Ghibli movies. Never really been too big of a fan, gonna be honest. I think their movies are cool, but I just never watched them in my childhood. The only one I can remember is Ponyo. It was still cool being able to go to like the park and see all of the attractions. All right. I think it's time. While I was in Japan, literally more than half of the stuff I bought was Genshin merch. And I think it's time to show you exactly what we have picked up here. This first item here, I actually did post on Twitter. Some of you guys may or may not know what this is. You are seeing this correctly. This is Genshin fragrance of the cryo element featuring Kaya. There was this big animate, I believe in Akihabara. On one of the floors there, they had this big like display cabinet just filled with fragrances from different animes. I have never seen any Genshin fragrance in my entire life. So you know, you know I had to pick some up. I have not opened it yet. As you can see, it is complete mint condition, still packaged. Today, I will take the very first test with you guys. Okay. There was obviously samples, so you could smell it. And out of all of the fragrances, I think Kaya smelled probably the best. There was like Zhongli, there was Tartaglia, there was Klee. Not a big fan of Tartag. He smells like Axe. Deluke smells like 
Old Spice, to be honest. Strongly smells like my grandma's house, but Kaya, a nice, cool, and refreshing fragrance. And this is of the cryo element. So let's see what this is about. Ooh, look at that. Give you guys a little closer look here. Oh, that didn't do any, what the heck? Nothing even came out, wait. I thought it'd be like a mist. Oh, there we go. A little bit came out. I like this, I like this. It smells refreshing. It's a very, it's a very refreshing smell. I genuinely do not know how to describe this. <laughs> how do I describe this here? It's eucalyptus and estrogen. Estrogen? Is that right? That can't be right. Isn't estrogen? Oh, I, okay. My bad. I definitely read that wrong. I definitely, there's not estrogen in here. I repeat, there is no estrogen in this uh, Genshin fragrance. I believe they were referring to uh, this herb here. It is not estrogen. <laughs> in short, it is refreshing and I think it smells good, which is why I bought it. I'm going to move on before I trigger any more perfume enthusiasts in my uh, chat or who may or may not be watching this YouTube video. Okay, so this was actually in Ikebukuro. There is this Parko. They sell a bunch of different Hoyoverse merch there. And of course there was Genshin Impact. There was like Honkai stuff. There was Tears of Themis. One thing that I did pick up was this thing right here. It is. I don't even know what this is. I think it might be like a sticker set. This one's actually not for me. I actually sent a picture to Dish of this because I saw it and I was like, huh, look, Kaya. And she was like, yo, can you buy that for me? So Miss Dish, if you're perhaps watching this, this is for you. You must collect on your goods within the next 30 business days, please. And another thing that they had, oh man, I am excited. Yeah, I saw this piece of merch online. I actually couldn't buy it at the time because of obviously shipping and stuff like that. But when I went to Japan, they had it in person. This is none other than the Cryo Abyss Mage blanket. Oh my God, this thing is majestic. <laughs> I believe hook it together with like the buttons on the front and it becomes like this little cloak for you. <laughs> oh my God, I love this thing. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Probably one of my favorite purchases of all time. I will be using this very, very often whenever it's cold, which it's really not that cold in LA, but it's okay. Outside of just buying stuff, they actually have this cool little deal going on at the pop-up store where thousand yen or maybe like 500 yen you spend, they give you this little gotcha thing. That's right, we have more gotcha here. It's actually randomized prizes of postcards and bookmarks. I believe they have like a couple different designs on it. So hopefully we get everything here. Okay, item number one. Ooh, look at that. It's like a nice little postcard on the back. You can see this stuff. And this is Tartag and Toma. If, if this is just the first one, I wonder what else we have. We have a bunch to go through. Item number two here. Oh, wait, this one is sick. Let's switch things up here. We have three bookmarks, I believe, actually. They are also Genshin themed, I think. So we'll open two of these silver ones and open one of the bookmarks, see what we get here. In three, two. Oh, you already saw something there. We have the nice Lumine bookmark. Very sturdy, I like it. Postcard number three. What are we gonna get here? Oh, can you see that? It's an albedo emergency food with the alchemist. All these postcards look magnificent. Now imagine if they made TCG trading cards, they could do something just as cool, if not cooler. I think I know what this is. Xiao with Shen He. Postcard number five, I believe. I think I know what this is. I see a little shrine with Inazuma there and it's gonna be, there she is, Yaimiko. Moving on to bookmark number two. Who is this gonna be? Ooh, Gan Yu bookmark. Gan Yu has to be like a top tier character, right? She, she's gotta be worth a lot. People would pay money for this, right? And it's gonna be Arataki Ito along with Goro here. Let's do one more postcard before moving on to the bookmark here. Oh, we got our first dupe. Oh man. Bookmark number three. Please don't be a dupe. If this is a dupe, I'm going to be so, so sad. And it is Yun Jin. Okay. Postcard number seven. It is also a dupe. This is the Albedo one. All right. Last and final postcard. Here we go. C1 Albedo. What is this one going to be? It is C1, Arataki, Ito, and Goro, unfortunately. I think this is my number one, actually. If they just like 
you know, took Kokomi out of here, I, I think it, it would be my undisputed number one, but very, very cool. I like this graphic. Let's move on to the next item because we still have quite a bit to go through. If you guys uh, have seen my anime NYC video, you might recognize this little guy, but I actually do have this Cryo Abyss Mage. And now because of the, J J I, well, I cannot say Japan. I have two of them. That's what I'm trying to say. Atsu actually came in, gave me another little Cryo Abyss Mage. Hello. Hi, Kakani chan My name's the Abyss Mage and I'm a gift for you. Goodbye. I now have two to the collection. I have C1 Cryo Abyss Mage, and if you couldn't tell, the Cryo Abyss Mage is my favorite thing in Genshin Impact. If anyone would like to purchase this one off of me, that would be a uh, million dollars. Please and thank you. So on Twitter, I actually did attend the Genshin Symphony and this is the nice little souvenir they gave to us while we were at the Genshin Symphony. This is a little stand-up type of acrylic thing. It has like the ticket on here. It says Osaka, date 2023, 1-29 Sunday, Genshin Symphony. And I guess it's like a nice little memorial type of thing. Yeah, the concert was great. They went through like the order of all the different nations. They played Venti's theme into Lyra where they went Chonli. They had like Ganyu's theme. They had Tartag. It was just a really cool experience to be able to witness that live. The concert hall was actually very packed. There were tons of people there. Okay, I'm trying to get this thing off of the acrylic stand. Oh God, technical difficulties. I'm sorry, we will be right back. A few moments later. Boom, nice little display thing for your uh, Genshin concert. You can put this on like your desk. Be like, yeah. I went to the Genshin concert. I am certified cool. I will treasure this for the rest of my life. This will be the family heirloom. When I have kids and grandkids and grand grandkids, I'll tell them, yeah, back in my day, I went to the Genshin concert in Osaka. All right, remember how I said there was this Genshin pop-up store? Well, actually this wasn't the only Genshin pop-up store because we found another one and they actually had, you guessed it, Genshin Impact blind boxes. There are figurines in here and you have a chance to pull any one of these figurines and of course there is a secret statue that you can pull and that is the statue of the seven we have two of the lira ones and one of monstat now of course the ones i am hoping for today are kuching and out of monstat i am hoping for clear venti clear venti would be cool this first one you can see is already actually opened i believe dawn bought a bunch of them and she got a dupe i think so i was presented with a nice little present believe it or not oh my god she's dismembered or this might have been Atsu. Someone gave this to me. I have bad memory, but you can see Chi Chi's in here. I don't know why they came with her head off. Maybe to save space. I didn't do this, of course. So we have like a little display plate you can put it on. And then I think you just stick the head in like this. Slide the freaking in there. And as you can see, the figurine is complete. This is super cute. Wow. I think I picked these out of different boxes. So there is a possibility that both of these Lyra boxes could be Chi Chi. If that is the case, I will give away every single item we have unboxed today on stream. Everything that I have bought in, if both of these boxes are Chi Chi, everything on the table behind me is getting given away to you guys. I am praying to God that that does not happen, okay? Let's just, let's see, okay? Open in the first box here. If this is Chi Chi, I'm going to cry. But, okay, first box is being opened here. And of course, it is in the packaging here. I'm a little concerned. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's Chong Yoon! Oh, thank God. Okay, I keep my stuff today. He is level 20 on my account, and I do not use him. And to be honest, he is probably the second worst pull out of this entire box that I wanted. But it's okay. <gasps> that... Could have ended very badly. Okay. Moving on to our second blind box. Okay, let's see what we have here. I love opening blind boxes. Who is this gonna be?
on you. Okay, I'll take this. We, we will take on you. Now, I'm gonna be very careful with this one. We don't want uh, <clears throat> another incident happening here. But yeah, the Genshin pop-up store was also very cool. It was like the section dedicated to like Genshin and Honkai stuff. And they had like the Ningguang figurine. They had some expensive figurines in there, I think, as well as like a bunch of other Genshin Impact merch. So very cool to see. Pop her head on here without breaking her body this time. Yes, okay, there we go. As you can see, this is Ganyu. And she has like her little ultimate ball in here. So very, very cute. Very, very nice. So let's move on here. Our Mondstadt blind box. I am hoping for... I just got spoiled by looking inside the box. I was hoping for Klee, but you know what? I will take this one as well. We have none other than the Princessant herself. This is Fischl with Oz on her head. Super, super cute. Thankfully, we didn't kill her this time. But yeah, these are the collection sets of Genshin characters. And I think they actually, like, you can line them up here. So they stack together like puzzle pieces. Just ignore him right here. He's he's okay. Little super glue and he'll be good as new. Don't, don't you worry. He's, he's, he's fine. We're gonna move on here. We're going to move on. Genshin Impact actually does have a little bit of a Valentine's Day collab. They have, I believe, Ganyu and Kuching little postcards and like Valentine's Day stuff. Diva chocolate, as you can see, it comes in the packaging. Very, very cool. Ooh, look inside there. Sheesh. There is none other than Kaching, and she's holding. Looks like a chocolate here. What review would this be if I didn't give you guys a little, 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 little taste test? This is what it looks like on the inside. That is chocolate. Eight out of ten. I will give that one an eight out of ten. Okay, second to last item here. This is going to be fan. As you can see, this is another piece of official Genshin Impact merch. And I think I actually got this one at K-Books. I saw this fan being sold and I was like, okay, looks pretty cool. This is official merchandise. I believe you can also find it on the Genshin Impact merch websites and stuff like that. But it's fancy comes in a nice little wooden box and on it, it says Genshin Impact and there is a little Gulba on it. So very cute. I believe this is a fan slash nightlight. So it will light up as well as be like a nice little display case, case, display piece. Yo, this thing is so hard to open. It's like magnetic, but it's so cool. Oh, oh my. God, you see this thing. Wait, this is so sick. Now, of course, I know the question you guys are all asking, the burning question you're wondering, does it work like a fan? It is the same on both sides and let's see. So we're not gonna do that. I paid good money for this. I am not trying to break it yet. So this is the Globa light up fan and I think I will be using it as a piece of decoration. Final item, the very last thing that I bought from Japan. And in case you're wondering what it is, perhaps this will give you a little hint. That's right, we have Kazaha and Tomo. This is the lamp, I believe. Saw this one also at the Genshin pop-up store. Super nice, and oh man, that looks even better than I thought. Woo! Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I think you can also do Oh my goodness gracious. This thing is stunning. Yeah, super, super cool Genshin Impact merch that I found in Japan. That is going to be the final item. So yeah, it was a great trip overall. I had a lot of fun, spent time with friends and managed to pick up some nice merchandise. If you did enjoy it, please do consider liking the video, subscribing and joining us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. Of course, if you want to see any of the other Japan videos, they will pop up right there in the top right corner of the screen. Or you can go to my YouTube channel. Just go check it out. Yeah, thank you guys very, very much. It is thanks to you guys that I do have the opportunity to meet new people as well as do something like this, go to Japan and make content for you guys. So I do appreciate you guys watching my content. I do appreciate you guys supporting me as always. And I hope you guys find this type of content enjoyable to watch as well. I do apologize if I couldn't even speak in this video, if I was stuttering, if I was, you know, saying stuff wrong. It's been a month since I've been on stream. Thank you for your understanding. My pronunciation will be better in future videos. But yeah, thank you for watching. And of course, stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.
The real question is, what am I going to do with all of this Genshin Impact merch now? Oh my god. If I had to pick one of my favorite things that I bought in Japan, it'd have to be either this right here, this Cryo Abyss Mage uh, blanket, or these cards. These cards are my babies. My precious Evangelion cards. Oh my god. Thank <laughs> you.